Okay, well, thank you so much um, for joining us today. It's lovely to um, lovely to see you. Um, and we are going to kickstart um, the year with um, a little look at the um, our very precious English season and the lovely events that take place. And we have um, talked about um, about some of these, but I thought it might be quite timely because if we do start moving forward and the vaccine kicks off and so on. Um, there seems to be a lot of confidence that um, most of the events, not all of them, but most of the events will go ahead. Henny Royal Regatta, for example, has certainly confirmed that, um, that Regatta is going ahead this year. So, um, and our, our, um, we've been told that, you know, all the, the um, teams are, are practicing for it and um, all of the horse racing fraternity are getting geared up for Royal Ascot and so on. So we're certainly hearing that these things are going ahead. And if the skies are open by the time we get into sort of May, June time, uh, then it'll be a fabulous thing to, um, uh, to come and do. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of um, uh, a whiz through on the, um, on the dates and so on. I really shouldn't try and do these things without my glasses, should I? <laughs> okay. Um, so, um, as you know, and um, I say this every time, but um, we, we have amazing access to these events and we've made really good use of um, lockdown and the basis that um, no one hack is doing all of their usual jobs to really um, build up those relationships and that access as well. So we can get even um, into even more of the, uh, of the fabulous parts of these, um, uh, these events. So um, just sort of running through, I mean, March, I think Cheltenham Festival is highly unlikely to go ahead. Um, but if you have, I wanted to share it because if you have any um, uh, clients who are real horse racing fans um, and particularly jump racing, uh, there is no event like the Cheltenham Festival. And um, combine that maybe with some clients who are a little bit more cautious about traveling in 2021, but would love to do a, a really sort of full on trip in um, 2022, then uh, the Cheltenham Festival would be an amazing um, event to go to. Uh, Babington apparently is happening behind closed doors this year, which is a real shame, but we'll share some, um, some information about that. Again, a great one for your horse loving, uh, horse -loving clients. Um, and then we have Chelsea and Ascot Boodles, um, obviously Wimbledon Regatta Festival, and uh, then the beautiful cars that are at um, uh, our, our Salon Privé. And if you've got clients who are coming over um, at the, um, in the first week of uh, July, they can actually fit in uh, three of the events because um, Henny Regatta starts in the second week of Wimbledon. So they could do Regatta and Wimbledon and then Henley Festival starts the following week. So in the space of, they could do a Wednesday to Wednesday, in the space of eight days, they could do three of the events, including Wimbledon, Regatta and Henley Festival, which is not bad going in, in one year. Um, and it would be a, it's a great way of, uh, um, of spending a week, really. So Cheltenham, um, probably is, well, it is the most prestigious um, jump uh, festival. And Cheltenham, it, again, like so many of these events, it's about the atmosphere and the environment. There is a report that ha half of the Irish population moved from um, Ireland to the Cheltenham area uh, during, during Cheltenham week. And it's, it's glorious. You could honestly think you were in Ireland um, during, during Cheltenham Festival. And um, my golly, do they know how to party. So the, the atmosphere is, is just wonderful. 
the the um, uh, the site of of the festival is is quite incredible, and as you can see, it won uh, race course of the year last um, last year. Oh no, two years. Well, like twenty nineteen, um, because it really is fantastic. And there's live music. Uh, there are shops. There's um, there's absolutely all sorts. And you can see in that picture on the bottom left. Um, the sheer scale of, um, um, of, of what's, what's available. And the wonderful thing about Cheltenham is that we can offer you cl your clients everything from a really quite intimate, um, quieter setting with fabulous food and, um, and, and so on, through to being right in the heart of the action. And um, if they want to be part of it, and you can see some of the, the hospitality entertaining um, there, uh, you can imagine the, the, the noise levels and so on. The quality of the food is stunning. The quality of the racing is, is fabulous. So um, if you've got any clients thinking about March 2022, then uh, could not recommend Cheltenham um, highly enough. And um, geographically, it's, uh, as you're probably aware, it's sort of up towards the north end of the Cotswolds. So Broadway is a perfect place to stay. There are some fabulous hotels in, in Cheltenham, um, but we often find our clients prefer just to be a little bit, um, a little bit further out. But they are then ideally located to go exploring the beautiful Cotswolds. And um, with, with um, Snow's Hill and Hidcote Manor, Manor um, starting all of the new spring flowers coming through in March, I mean, it's just glorious, really. So, um, yeah, lots of fun at, um, uh, at, at uh, Cheltenham. Uh, Babington is, is probably not quite so well known unless, um, unless you love, um, love horses, um, but it's a really amazing estate. Um, an, an amazing event. Um, it takes place at the Duke of Beaufort's estate. So um, Babington is, is his estate. And that's down um, sort of closer to Tetbury and Highgrove and so on. So it's, um, uh, it's the Southern Cotswolds. And it's, um, although it's three day eventing, bizarrely it's over four days, um, but they have the most incredible uh, dressage, show jumping and the the sort of real ultimate um, is the, um, although it finishes on the Sunday with the show jumping, the cross country event is is quite extraordinary to um, to watch. And you're in, your, your clients will be in the setting with of um, this incredible estate uh, with Babington House sitting um, sitting behind it. It's it's really, really glorious. It's um, it's very close to where my parents live, so we used to go. Um, we used to go every year. I can honestly say we didn't do the fine dining and the hospitality that we would offer your clients, but um, it is a fabulous event, and the shopping opportunities are quite extraordinary. So again, there are lovely um, opportunities to do um, uh, sort of. Uh, um, uh, dining and and um, eating and drinking and so on within the course itself or we've got um, the opportunity and the access to um, Babington House as well if they want the real ultimate um, experience and they're not quite maybe so excited about the horses bit it's more the event itself and we know we all have have a few clients like that um, then, uh, then we can offer um, offer it all. But um, it's it's really wonderful. And in May, <coughs> excuse me, in May, um, the weather is normally just starting to get um, to to um, uh, get a bit warmer and so on. So uh, you can have a really really fabulous day. And again, you're located um, uh, South Cotswold, so staying around Tetbury. Uh, you've got Calcutt Manor, Watley Manor. Um, some of the really fabulous hotels really close by so um, they can uh, stay in style and eat in style as well which is uh, which which is always great and you can um, see I mean some of the jumps and so on at the at the cross-country course are quite um, quite extraordinary and anybody who's anybody in eventing um, certainly turns up to Babington uh, every year except 2020 obviously um, 
Now, one of our favorites, um, the most um, amazing uh, experience is, is the Chelsea Flower Show. Um, I mean, the, the, the history of it is quite extraordinary, going back to, um, to 1804. Um, and they have been through um, a huge number of, of, of um, A, weather events, as you can uh, see, it was called the Chelsea Shower Show one, uh, one year. Um, but they, um, uh, what they create, the gardens are quite extraordinary um, in, in the variety and, um, and design and so on. It's as somebody who's not terribly green fingered, um, I am in utter awe of, um, uh, of, of what these designers create. And again, there's um, the opportunity to do um, uh, the really stunning private dining. Raymond Blanc is, is um, always the, uh, the resident chef. So the food is fabulous. And he works really hard with his team to make it, um, make the food fit the sort of seasonal floral type um, in, environment um, in, in which your clients will sit. I'm afraid I can't guarantee that your clients will meet the queen. Um, but she does always turn up and um, but she gets a private viewing <laughs> the day before the day before everybody else. Um, but it is still utterly magical and we can do private uh, private tours and, and so on. So they can uh, your clients can have a quieter wander around, although again, the atmosphere is just so lovely. Um, so we'll certainly recommend the best timings and um, and so on. But it's a feast for the eyes is uh, is Chelsea Flower Show. And Garsington is um, a bit of a personal favorite, I think, if I'm allowed a favorite. Um, we've talked about the Wormsley uh, estate with you, which is just lovely and is just, um, uh, just north of, uh, sorry, just south of Oxford, um, so not too, um, not too far away, and not a million miles actually from uh, Le Manoir, which is obviously a rather lovely, lovely place to stay. And Garsington is utterly magical because um, you've got the obviously the uh, the pinnacle of the evening is this incredible operatic performance um, in the open um, open. Uh, uh, pavilion that they've created but they really recommend and we always suggest to um to our guests that they turn up they can the, the gates open about 3 30 they can go and um enjoy an afternoon tea have a walk through the walled garden which you know in june july is just a sea of color and smells it's quite extraordinary um and then as you can see in the top left picture there uh, the wonderful opportunity to picnic right next to the lake and behind um, uh, sorry to the right of there is is the deer park so chances are your clients will be sitting having a rather exquisite picnic watching the deer as they amble through the park it's not a bad way to spend um, to spend an afternoon there is all, also fabulous um, uh, restaurant fine dining as well so um, they they have the choice but if um, if the weather's looking to be good, we normally recommend um, a picnic because it's um, you can eat in a restaurant anywhere, can't you? <laughs> so picnics rather rather special and and lovely. The amazing Royal Ascot, um, and we've had so many, um, particularly American clients who um, uh, have just they've said that they've really been really excited about coming to Royal Ascot but then when they experienced it they had no idea just how amazing it was it was going to be and I think the um, one of the real treats for um, most people who go is the is the royal parade of um, uh, the Queen and members of the royal family and obviously there's there's great debate and I think there's quite a lot of betting going on as well about what colour the Queen is going to wear on each particular day so that's nothing to do with the horses obviously um, but the um, uh, I mean obviously if if your clients choose to go into the um, 
uh, the royal enclosure, they will have fabulous access looking over the parade ring and we'll see Her Majesty the Queen. But even carriages and um, what's the other one, the two restaurants that are just to the side of the royal enclosure, carriages is the one upstairs and you look down um, over the arrival of the Queen and all of the, the other carriages and stuff, which is, which is really special. Um, so, um, I mean, Royal Ascot hosts a number of, of fabulous racing events uh, throughout the year, but Royal Ascot is obviously the absolute, um, absolute ultimate. Um, and the opportunity to get dressed up um, and, um, and eat and drink incredibly well and hopefully not lose too much money on the horses. The one bit we won't do because we're not qualified is recommend any betting suggestions whatsoever. Um, but uh, we can guarantee that they will be sitting in the best seats in the house. And also most years um, we have hired morning suits for the chaps. Um, we need, just need some good measurements and uh, the morning suit will be waiting for them because it's not the, not the easiest things to pack. And equally for the ladies, for your female clients, uh, we, we're pretty good now at matching hats to outfits. So if they're turning up with the outfit, we can usually provide um, uh, a matching hat to, um, uh, to go with it. So they will certainly be dressed appropriately, look amazing and have, um, and have a fabulous day at, um, at, at Royal Ascot. And um, yes, yeah, sorry, and I should have shared these, uh, these images with you, but you see the parade ring on the, um, on the top right there um, and the, the parade ring restaurant, uh, which is right next to the Royal Box, is absolutely the best viewing uh, that, um, that there is. And it may not be your cheapest day out, but golly, it's, uh, it's rather stunning because you can literally stand in the parade ring restaurant and next door to you, you can sort of peer around and see, uh, see the Queen and uh, members of her family. Now, Boodles is, is a little bit lesser known, I think, but is a rather special event in the, um, in the tennis calendar. I mean, the um, the uh, FIBA Tree Championships at, at Queen's are often seen as the warm up. But actually, Boodles is a key part of, of the warm up and happens <coughs> excuse me, just before Wimbledon. And they have, you know, Djokovic and they've Murray and Federer and all the rest of them, uh, the big names turn up. And it's one of the most intimate sporting events you could ever wish to attend. Bearing in mind, you are often sitting watching uh, number one, number two, number three ranked tennis players in the world. Um, and the, let me show you the picture here. You can see on the top left hand picture there, just how close you are to the players. It's as intimate as, um, as it gets. And there's a, uh, one of the restaurants, the player's lounge, um, your clients will have the opportunity to go and sit and have a rather lovely summer's lunch and players will come in um, and are there to answer questions and have a bit of a chat. Um, so it's an amazingly intimate sporting event. Um, and it's set in Stoke Park, which is just over um, Buckinghamshire Way. So, um, I mean, there's a Stoke Park is, is a lovely hotel in its own right. You've got Clifton just down the road, um, the Langley and so on. So there's, um, there are plenty of choices um, to, um, uh, to pick for, for your clients, um, but it really is, is um, it's a very special, very special event. Oh, and actually talking of hotels, we are very excited. There is a new hotel um, opening in Hemion Thames. We are sadly lacking a rather beautiful boutique hotel and the reports that we've had is, is that it is going to be quite extraordinary and will be open in time for regatta next year. I'm meeting the new owners. Um, it was, I was supposed to meet them in a couple of weeks, but we've pushed it back to February when we're out of lockdown. So I'm really excited, uh, excited about that because it sounds as though it's going to be amazing. Um, the iconic uh, Wimbledon championships are, are just absolutely magical. Um, uh, the obligatory strawberries and cream and pims and cups of tea and all of that sort of thing. 
But just a little reminder, excuse me, um, to you that um, not only can we obviously um, uh, secure amazing um, seats in centre court or number one court um, for your clients, um, but we ha can also offer access to uh, the members enclosure uh, within the set within centre court. So um, I'm, we're not allowed to write it down. We're not allowed to to publicise it. But your clients will be. I mean, if you've got tennis fan clients um, who want to mingle with the elite of the tennis world, then uh, this is the perfect opportunity. It's it's quite extraordinary. But equally, there are, as you can see on the bottom left, um, there's some fabulous um, hospitality options. Um, and, and we work really closely with the partners there to make sure that um, your clients will have the best seats um, and uh, will be incredibly well, well looked after. And it's uh, really missed it this year. So it'll be, um, it'll be even better, I think. Uh, sorry, missed it last year, it'll be even better this year. Be glorious and regatta now for the first time in its history regatta in 2021 uh is going to take place over six days so we have six days of fun instead of um instead of five and they've um included as you can see at the bottom there um two new um major events uh they're having a bit of a discussion with henny women's regatta which happens three weeks earlier um and Henny Women's Regatta set up because Henny Royal Regatta wouldn't let women row in it. And now, of course, Henny Royal Regatta are admitting all these women. Um, and so I don't know what will happen to Henny Women's Regatta, but it's still a lovely event. If you've got clients over, it's normally the second week of June. It's, uh, it's, it's absolutely superb. It takes place over, over three days. But Henny Royal is, is really special and i think you probably know by now it's a bit of a favorite of um of mine um we will uh give your clients an utterly memorable day it's so difficult to explain how magical it is um and one group of clients who came last year uh well sorry 2019 i'm just i've asked them because they were so blown away by it i've asked them to write it down i write down what they thought and what they felt and what they were surprised about um, because I can't do that because I go every year. So um, I'm, I'm hoping to share that, uh, be able to share that with you, but it really is a wonderful event and is always the first week of July. So um, Henny Regatta Saturday um, is always the first Saturday of, um, of July. And it is just, um, uh, just wonderful. Um, and uh, every it's like the ultimate um, English summer garden party, lots of summer dresses and boaters and all that sort of thing. Um, now, the following week, um, just a little reminder of the wonder of Henny Festival. Um, again, probably one of Henny's best kept secrets, um, but that second week in July is, um, I, I, I couldn't recommend strongly enough for your, um, uh, for your clients to, um, to make a trip to Henley. If they're staying in London, if they're staying in the Cotswolds, it doesn't matter, it's, it's all doable. Um, but they will be blown away by festival. Just appearing um, uh, down the river, a glass of champagne in hand, and they look from the river at festival site and this sea of color will, uh, will hit them. The roving um, uh, entertainers are just fantastic. Um, and we have a, um, a, brilliant, um, a brilliant lineup this year. There is uh, fine dining, Angela Hartnett uh, is at the helm. And uh, so you're guaranteed some, um, uh, some fabulous, uh, fabulous dining. Um, but equally, we can um, we will happily arrange the picnic option if um, if that's what your clients would like. I can I can vouch for Angela. <laughs> Where from? She's one of my favorite, Angela Hartnett. Yeah, yeah, uh, she's fantastic. 
fantastic. She's quite incredible. And she appears yeah. on quite a few of these, um, you know, cookery programs on TV. Yeah. And she just sort of throws all this stuff together and it looks just gobsmacking. And then I try and replicate it and it doesn't quite uh, work. She's a lovely, she's a lovely person. Yeah. Yeah. She's, um, yeah, she deserves, yeah, she deserves all of her success. She's, she's great. So we're very lucky um, that mm. she, she comes to, comes to festival. And just to remind on that top left, that's the floating stage, uh, which is quite, uh, quite amazing. So you've got the grandstand seats and then the lawn seats um, that are just in front, um, in front of the stage. So that's the view um, on your, on your bottom right. And then the rest of the time, as on the bottom left, you can just wander around, have a glass of champagne and, um, uh, and just thoroughly enjoy the evening. We strongly advise um, wedged heels because you're walking over, your clients will be walking over lots of grass. Um, but as with all of these events, we will give very detailed uh, dress, uh, dress code advice because there's nothing worse than turning up to those things inappropriately attired, we think. Um, and then last, but by no means least, if you have um, some, uh, as we call them, petrol heads, some car loving, uh, clients who really want the opportunity to immerse themselves in um, in automotive glory and and history. I mean, there's there's obviously Goodwood and and so on. But Salon Privé um, uh, takes place up at uh, Blenheim, just north of um, just north of Oxford. So again, you've got uh, Le Manoir, you've got the, the bank in Oxford. So lots of lovely hotels uh, surrounding it, and this. This concourse, these concourse events have sort of grown and grown um, probably over the last 10 years or so, I think. Um, and there are often, um, well, certainly for the Salon Privé and the Concours, the, the other one that takes place at Hampton Court, um, there's often a driving event that precedes it. So you find this convoy going through the countryside um, of these amazing old classic cars. And because uh, we know the organizers, uh, we can certainly arrange for your clients to take part in that preceding um, event, as well as uh, the sort of turning up and obviously have all of the, the, the best views and, and so on. So um, Salon Privé at the beginning of, of September is, is just, just wonderful. It's, uh, and it's also very close to the time of, um, uh, Goodwood, Revi Goodwood Revival and so on. So if you have guests staying during those sort of early stages of September, um, then they can, poss they can possibly, if the dates work, uh, get both, um, both events in. So they can have um, more sort of car ex motoring experiences than, uh, than they can throw a stick at, which is rather lovely. Now we've covered a lot of them. Obviously, there's there's also the Derby um, at, at uh, Epsom. There's the St Ledger up in Doncaster. There are some really fabulous um, horse racing events and some smaller motoring events and so on. So this isn't all of them, but I just thought if you're if you are getting requests from clients. Um, thinking about jumping on a plane and coming over for the summer that this brief summary might um, would be would be uh, would be useful for you and you know the way that we approach these things um, they will arrive in absolute style whatever is appropriate um, obviously boats for regatta um, and and helicopters for um, uh, for Silverstone and Goodwood and and, and so on. Um, and the dress code is so important. I, I think it's really horrible turning up to something when you don't feel appropriately dressed. Male and female doesn't, uh, doesn't matter. Um, so we will make sure that not only do we give advice and help and guidelines, but if your clients need any help with you know, having an old victory role put in for Goodwood Revival or something like that for one of your clients, uh, we will make all of that, um, all of that happen because it just, it just makes the day that much more special if, if you're, if you're wearing and uh, wearing the right things and so on. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, 
as always we will um, recommend these events and, and suggest them to fit in with um, with the best possible itineraries uh, that, uh, that that we're putting together. So whether it's Cotswolds or Chilterns or um, heading down into uh, Sussex for Goodwood and so on, uh, we'll we'll make it all we'll make it all work. And you know we're having such fun with one particular itinerary at the moment. Um, one of our favourite American couples is uh, is coming back. They were supposed to come last year, but they're coming, planning to come in September this year. And she said they're so um, desperate to travel, and they've missed it all so much that they're doing a four week trip to uh, England <laughs> and Ireland. And we are having the best time putting together this itinerary for them because they're. They're really, you know, those wonderful clients who are really clear about what they love and what they're not so keen on and stuff. So uh, we're just, we're nearly there now. We're just putting the finishing touches on it, but uh, it's it's amazing. It's a fantastic itinerary. So we're we're very excited. Can't wait to see them again, which will be uh, uh, which will be will be great. So um, lots of obviously lots more info um, on the um, on the website. All of the summer season events um, have more detailed information on the website. So if you just need to pull anything off, um, please do. But you know we all love talking to you, so please pick up the telephone and we'll we'll have a chat about um, about what um, uh, whatever it is. Now next week we are heading down to the southwest of England. Now this was a special request. Um, when we asked for your suggestions about what you would like to see, um, we had a couple of requests uh, for, for Cornwall, uh, which is just wonderful because it's one of my favourite places in the world. So we're going to have um, lots of fun. We're hoping that our great partner in crime, Sarah, will be able to join us excuse me, next week, but there's some family things, so we're not positively sure. But either way, you will be taken on a glorious tour of the, um, of the absolute best of, um, uh, of Cornwall, which will be just lovely. So hopefully I have um, answered questions. Has anybody got any, any questions from about the summer season? Obviously not. I think we've done our done our trick. Well, as we say, as I've as I've said, you know, we just love talking to you. So do pick up the telephone or drop us an email, and uh, we will we will happily answer all questions. So thank you so much for joining us, and uh, a bit of a funny start to the year, but. Um, I think there's a lot more light at the end of the tunnel. We've got the vaccine. We will come out the other side and we will be arranging uh, wonderful itineraries for your, um, uh, for your dear clients. But in the meantime, we have so many ideas for, um, uh, for tea and training to continue. Um, and I hope you agree that it's, it's, a lovely, it's, it's a lovely thing to do on a, on a Wednesday. Um, and, um, uh, oh, thank you. Thank you for your feedback. Um, so we will carry on doing it. We've even, uh, in a few weeks, we are going to be having a chat with uh, the general manager of the Four Seasons down in Hampshire, which will be a bit of a treat. I'm going to, uh, I will share more about that as to what we're going to be talking about. But uh, we, we love working with them. So um, it'll be great to, um, uh, to welcome Andrew. Thank you, Jackie. That's that's lovely. Thank you. Right. Well, thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful uh, rest of the day and look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks so much. Bye bye.